think that I believe everything I said. <laughs> no, I... Uh, how do I put it? I think someone told me that there was 10 yellow cards, five each. I think it's good. It's typical derby, and I think it was typical derby. I have to admit, maybe Jason did like it. We play quite bad. Not, I think out of the 20 pre-season games that we played this season, that was our worst one performance-wise, but it was a very brave performance. I think the excitement of first game and uh, maybe a coach talking too much and all this one got got a bit of us and we were too excited. The first half was close to shocker and the second half was slightly better. And I told the boys at halftime, listen, if you play so bad and you're still leading one nil, so we have a good team. So second half can only get better. And uh, again, we defended well. And uh, you need, I think, the quality of uh, Smell, Sporter and Jason, you know, in the second goal, that's basically what broke us to win. So we were back to the wall, but one swift move that probably you don't see many like this in the A-League that resulted in Jason goal, it gave us the game. I, uh, the first thought that happened to me after the game, I uh, looked at Frank Eyes and I told him, look, you tell you something, you play better. But I told him I know the feeling how many times I was sitting in this side of the stadium and uh, my team played better and the other team went home winning and singing in the dressing room. So lucky for me I was on the other side. But it was typical performance between a team that playing three, four years together and almost reached the final and a new team that, you know, that we were... Uh, so I know <laughs> I may be surprised you, but that's, that's my feeling. could be because I was sitting on the bench and... I wasn't relaxed, but uh, oh, because I know how much better our team can play. But uh, in the end of the day, that's uh, that's what it. We got the three point. We got the the monkey off my back and uh, finish with this obsession. And I think I think Frank said it the other day. You know, it's the league starting from now for both teams. Lucky for us, we're starting with three. But uh, I think get rid of it and uh, let's start concentrating on football and all the hype with the media or whatever, you know, let's finish with it. That's, uh, that's my feeling at the moment. Maybe tomorrow I'll wake up and you can ring me and I say different things, but that's, <laughs> I'm, I'm, probably, I'm probably mentally tired. I think, again, I, I repeat it. I think that uh, the role played, uh, played better and, and uh, as much as I surprise you, I feel sorry for Frank and his boys, you know, but, uh, but that's it. But I've been in this side of the road many times and... I think it's talking a bit politics before I let you, Jason, talk, and then I'll, I'll be quiet. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> yeah, you can disagree. You say we play brilliantly. I, uh, I think it's about time. It's opportunity that for I can see the media attendance and all the media coverage that we got this week with all the paper and the TV. I think it's an opportunity for our code to establish itself an equal footing with the rugby and with the Aussie rules and. I think the cooperation between the two clubs will be helpful and I already spoke with Frank about it and I think in the end the player also will cooperate and, and that's it. From my end, from, from my point of view, the rivalry is finished and uh, I think that's a bit sad story for you all guys but uh, I feel a bit used in the last week or two and uh, you know I said things and people had ingredients and salt and paper or whatever. So I told the players also, listen, it's now starting the, the season. It's your turn to talk and all the interview and all this one. Leave me alone and uh, it started the list. I did the press season. It's now they have to start working. So Jason? Quite good. Quite good. Well, how are you? You're very, you know, look, uh, if you see how much better he can play too, you know. Listen, the guy's 22. He come here, you know, it's different football, different style. They don't use to this physical game. I all the time said foreign players that coming here in any team, in any club. Our boys, when they, all they grew up, they either play Aussie rule and rugby beside playing football. And that's, you know what I mean? I think referee, other referee today probably would have sent, the European referee would have sent six, seven players off, you know. So we're playing, uh, and Jason will be the first to testify. Our... Our league, I think, uh, quality-wise, I don't know how to rank it, but uh, physics and speed, I think we're in the top five league in the world. There's no doubt in my mind. So, uh, so that's it. But uh, again, look, I think in the end of the day, I shouldn't cry too much that we won the three points. I try to be as modest as I can, maybe because I'm a bit tired and that's it. But, but, <laughs> but uh, in the end of the day, I said if we play... Jason exaggerated 60, 70, I would say we play 40% of our capability and we still went away and won 
one of the teams that's supposed to be in the final or top team in the league and we away game once we won, just wait and see what will happen one day when we play at home against lesser team with a bit of confidence. I, uh, I'm looking forward. I don't want to repeat what Clive said, God forbid, but you know what I mean? I think that uh, we started something special this year. That's my opinion. Okay.